Hey guys, this is my first time filming like this, but a lot of people have asked me to do more nail tutorials. So I'm gonna try to show you guys today how to do light pink chrome nail polish. Now, here are some supplies you need. You're gonna need um, a gel base coat and then a no wipe top coat. Now I got all of this stuff off of Amazon, so you can just look these up on Amazon. I'm going to be using this Gentle Tranquility. It's a really light kind of peachy pink color. If you want a really chrome color, I would suggest using a dark color, not a light color like this, like a midnight blue or a really dark gray or black. But I do want kind of a more light chrome. Um, so I'm using a lighter color today. This is my first time doing it with a light color, so we'll see how it works out. Um, with this, you're gonna apply it with one of these like sponge tip makeup applicators. When you order these, I got this off of Amazon as well. It comes with a uh, couple of these. And they are a little bit more of a dense sponge than like the cheap ones you buy at the drugstore. And then after that, I'm gonna put this on my cuticles because as you can see, my cuticles are so dry and shot. Um, and then you may need rubbing alcohol, even though this is a no wipe top coat, I like to start off with some rubbing alcohol on my nails just so it gets all of my own oils and stuff like that off. Uh, if you don't have a lint-free cloth, you can always use paper towels. You just wanna stay away from like cotton pads or toilet paper. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on and I'm just gonna swipe my nails. I just took off um, another gel polish that I had and I buffed my nails. That's why they look kind of rough right now. But I wanted to do this and I was like, you know what? I got to film it. Okay, so now that these are totally clear, what we're gonna do is start with a base coat. And this one's called Perfect Summer. Um, I just find that a lot of times the ones that I order end up being this Perfect Summer brand off of Amazon, but you really can use any brand. If you can hear my kids playing in the background, but so is mom wife. If you've never used um, gel polish before, like it's not gonna dry until you cure it under a lamp, but it does kind of move. So sometimes I have to look before I stick it under the lamp and see if it's like moved away from my cuticle. And you also wanna make sure you're not getting any on your skin because that will just um, cure onto your skin and it's kind of hard to get off and I feel like it ends up like pulling up the rest of the polish if you do kind of pull it off. So sometimes when I look before I cure, I'll kind of go like this. I'll see little air bubbles. Um, so I'll just kind of like smooth over it again. And I do have arthritis too. So if you see my hands shaking, that's why it's not because I'm nervous. Okay, so now it looks pretty smooth. This is an LED lamp that I got I swear like 10 years ago that's why it's so dirty and when I have my hand in there I actually rotate my hand back and forth so that it gets all of the sides and the corners and you're gonna leave it in there 30 seconds is usually good I usually leave it in there a little bit longer usually I'm like watching a show or something while I'm doing it so I don't really pay attention I was actually really shocked at how easy this chrome process was. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. Um, the last color I did, I used actually instead of a silver powder, I used like a kind of reddish powder. I thought I was ordering pink, but it came and it was kind of reddish and I did it over a dark green. It actually looked really good. Okay, so that is one coat. You can do two coats of the color, but I don't like it when it's so thick. So I try to just do kind of um, like a thicker one coat of the color. So this is gonna be a lot lighter than probably some of the chrome nails that you've seen. And with a gel, you can kind of, I kind of start in the middle and I push it towards the cuticle like that. See, it's pretty opaque with just one coat. My nails are super short right now too. This is the shortest they go. I don't know if you can see, but like there's no white part of the nail, like my nail beds are super long. People ask me sometimes if I'm wearing um, false nails, but nope, my nail beds are just super long. Okay, so that layer is done. 
then again, we're going to cure it for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so now that that layer is done, we're going to put a layer of a no wipe top coat. the fun part we're gonna open this up and you really don't need that much powder but you do want to rub it in really good okay so you're just gonna dab it so there's like that much on there and then you're just gonna rub it do you guys see how that buffs and shines like that I love this it's so fun to me and it you, you want to make sure you get all those little corners like magical do you see that oh amazing you can barely see the pink except there's like a light tint to it I really do like that the lighter color makes it look brighter than the other one how cool is that okay we're gonna do the rest of them have a handy clean makeup brush you can just dust it off but a lot of times I just use the other side because the other side's clean and just kind of dust off your cuticles and all this kind of overspray like on your cuticles it'll wash off once you clean your hands so that's basically what it looks like you guys and then we're gonna put another um, layer of the top coat and then cure that So basically that is the final product. Such an improvement from this, huh? I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys like nail tutorials like this, please let me know and I'll try to film more for you guys.